Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to watch a video of pop star royalty Miss Sara Heronimo performing one of her biggest hits, Tala, during their unified concert earlier this year. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this, but sorry for the delay as I have so many backlogs in my things to do. Before anything else, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at max underscore two. At the same time, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos to get a chance to win prizes. For the full mechanics, please check out the link above. Time for some shout outs. Hi to Jens Gans. Just saw all your comments. Thank you so much for coming to my rescue. I really appreciate it. If I can only give you a hug right now. Hug, hug. Thank you. Hello to Tenshi Bonchu. Thank you very much for inspiring me with your words. I hope you don't get tired of me. Take care in Basilan, okay? Shout out to Mori McCallet. Thank you for your wonderful message. Every time I see comments like yours, I get refreshed and encouraged. So if you guys want a shout out in my next video, please comment down below and let me know. As most of you know by now, I have been living under a rock. I've said this several times. So there are a lot of songs that I just don't know. I'm not very updated. Uh, but, but, this is one song that I've heard multiple times. This has been all over social media with a dance challenge that swept the world. And of course, this has been used multiple times in my events prior to the lockdown. The only thing I knew about this song is that it's sang by Sarah Hieronimo. So I made some research and came across this. Imagine, a song with its own Wikipedia page. I'm also surprised to find out that she did not only sing this massive hit, but she also co-wrote it. That made me respect her even more. Cause it's one thing to be an amazing singer, and it's another thing to be able to write songs. It says here that from 2019 to 2020, Tala was able to reach a 12th spot on the U.S. World Digital Song Sales Billboard. Now that is quite a feat. Oh, by the way, I got this video from the channel of Viva Films. So if you want to watch the entire performance without any interruption, without my comments, simply head to their channel, okay? So let's get ready with our earphones. There. Just listen to the crowd cheer. Hmm. The mystery. The intro music is giving me Arabian Nights and then a sudden techno feel, which is very, very cool. I also love how diva-ish her getup is. I'm sure the long intro, the suspense was killing the audience. But from a director's point of view, that is actually very, very smart, building up the anticipation.
Do you guys understand how hard it is for the performer to have to sing that first verse? First verse to get it right after the music stopped for like around 15 seconds with the crowd screaming their lungs out, creating a lot of distraction. And of course, uh, she even spoke. She has to know the exact pitch of the song by heart that first critical note. Otherwise, the second phrase wouldn't match the pitch of the first. It seems easy, but it's totally not. It's like I'm also there watching the concert with them. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Look at those leg movements. I love the air of mystery she gave us. Of course, everything coming together, like the lights, etc. And then with that costume reveal, she is really giving us a show. That booty shake, the subtle finger wiggling, those leg movements, uh, the head throw, just amazing. Yes! I love how fluid her movements are. She is quite a dancer. Because obviously, most of us know her first and foremost as a singer. But to see her perform like this, it's just impressive. Let's continue. The iconic moves. The slow movements are actually pretty hard to nail because you need to be very precise. You're not just jumping around ad-libbing. And of course, the snaps are to die for. The way she squatted down, you gotta have strong thighs to do that. You have to be in perfect physical condition to be able to pull off a performance like that. Let's continue. I can imagine this to be an exhausting number. A lot of movements from head to toe, upper body, lower body, and of course you have to sing and to keep your voice stable. That's the hardest. Look at her! Go, Sarah! She's 
She is nailing the choreography from the biggest to the smallest movements. The problem with such an iconic song, an iconic number like this, is everybody knows how it should be done. People are quite familiar with the movements. So if you make a mistake, even the smallest one, people will notice that automatically. And you have to be very, very on point every time. Yes! Love that very, very smooth transition. It's almost like the microphone suddenly disappeared. I live for this kind of details because when I am directing corporate shows, these minute details really, really matter. Moving on. Oh! Just amazing how she moves. Oh my god. With those movements, she can give Beyonce a run for her money. Dang, she's good. No, not good. She's amazing. You gotta be kidding me. After going down the floor like that, giving us these huge wild movements, you're gonna belt like that? Wow. And she held that last note really long and stable. Very impressive. She is doing a fantabulous job. I'm not surprised why this young lady is such a pop superstar. She's got a voice, she's got the moves, and she's got the charisma. Total package. Wow. Yes. This lady sure knows how to entertain and keep her audience glued. If that was me, I would have collapsed after that number and requested for an oxygen tank. And it was a long number, around 7 minutes or so. She has great stamina for a performance this physically tiring. What I can say is she is not only a great singer, not only a great dancer, but also a great performer, very well-rounded indeed. My question to you is, were you impressed by this performance? Are you one of those people, the millions of people, 
who did the Tala Dance Challenge? Write them down at the comment section below. Remember to keep your comments respectful. We can always agree or disagree, but it's very important for us to be respectful of each other's perspectives and points of view. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxQ. Stay safe and happy everyone. God bless us all.